everyone! So in today's video, I'm going to be trying some new products that I recently purchased at NYX and some new products that I got in my BoxyCharm this month. This is the first time I'm ever trying a video like this, so please bear with me. It might just be a little bit awkward for me. I'm still trying to transition into more talk-through videos instead of just doing makeup with music. But the makeup I have on right now, the eyeshadow, the whole face, I do in this tutorial. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, how I feel about some of the products that I used, and how you might be able to achieve this look at home, then keep on watching. Alright, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face with the Porefessional. The concealer I'm using today is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. The shade I'm using is 02 Natural. I'm going to use a new beauty sponge that I actually got in last month's BoxyCharm. This is the Pure Beauty Sponge. So first I just put some foundation on my hand and then I'm going to dot that all over my face. Then I'm going to take the rounded end of the sponge and then just blend all of this foundation. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape to conceal. I'm going to use the other end of the pure sponge so I can blend in all that concealer. I'm going to set my under eye with the Derma Blend. Let's see, the Derma Blend setting powder. I'm just going to swirl a big fluffy brush in my powder foundation and then just set all the foundation in. Today I'm going to start off by doing the eyes first. I'm going to prime my eyes with the NYX eyeshadow base. Just gonna grab a concealer brush, get some of this eyeshadow base, and put it all over my eyelid. The first thing I'm going to do before I jump into using the NYX eyeshadows is I'm gonna set my eyeshadow base. I'm using the Studio Makeup on the Go. This is a cute little palette that has neutral colors. I'm gonna use this today in conjunction with the NYX eyeshadows. I'm gonna grab the lighter shade right here in the middle and I'm gonna set my whole eyelid with that. So I got these four new eyeshadows from NYX. I got, let's see, I got Warrior, which is this blue, really pretty blue color. I got Wild Orchid, Cupcake, STFU. I also got the little pro palette that comes when you buy four shadows. You can get the little pro palette, so I'm going to pop those eyeshadows in here really quick. Here are the shadows and the cute little pro palette. Super cute, super small, convenient if you want to put a couple shadows in here you want to travel with. I'm going to use the pinker shades today for the look I'm going for. I'm going to use the blue and the yellow shade in a different look another time. I think I'm going to go in the crease first with a brown shade to transition the pink. So I'm going with the Studio Makeup on the Go palette again. I'm going to use this tan shade right here. Now I'm going to take that pink shade and I'm going to go right below that tan color. I'm going in really softly with this color because it's very, very pigmented. I'm going to switch brushes, go in with a fluffier brush help blend that out. It's a little too high than what I wanted to go, so I'm going to take my concealer brush and diffuse that. Erase some of it. I want the pink to be that high. I thought I wanted to go for a crazy look, but taking it back. I don't want to go crazy. Not today. I'm just going to keep the pink there. I'm not going to put it anywhere else. I don't want it to be too crazy. I'm going to apply a little bit more of that eyeshadow base to the inner corner because I'm going to put that light pink shade right here and blend it out. I'm 
I'm gonna deepen the crease a little bit. I'm gonna go back in with that Studio On The Go palette. I'm gonna go in with, first I'm gonna go in with this shade and then I might dip into the, to these two darker colors, I'm not sure. First I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in with a darker brown. Deepen up the outer corner just a little bit. Just deepen up this outer corner just a smidge. Because I still want to see the pink in there. I'm going to go the darker tan to blend this out. So it's looking good. I have neutral colors on the outer corner of all the browns there and then I have the pop of pinks right here. To make it pop even more, I'm going to use this NYX pigment I got. It's called Vegas Baby. How fitting because I live in Vegas. But I'm going to use some NYX glitter glue and then pop this on right in the center. First I'm going to put some on my hand. Open up this pigment. I'm going to do the other eye off camera. I'll be right back. I went ahead and I put some eyeliner and some lashes. And now I'm gonna work on the bottom part of my eye. I'm gonna take the dark brown color that I used on the lid, just on the outer part of my eye, kind of from the center to the outer part. I'm gonna put more of that pigment under here. So first I'm gonna go in with a primer. Then I'm gonna take some of that Pigment. Moving on with the rest of the face, a next pro a new product that I haven't tried is this highlight and contour palette by I think it's Evie Beauty. I'm not sure. This also came in my boxy charm, so I'm gonna use this to contour my face. The first part I'm going to contour is my cheekbones. I'm gonna use the darker, the contour three shade, this one right here, and I'm just gonna carve out my cheekbones. really good. It's really nice. It's really pretty. Looks good. I really like the color. One thing I like about this contour shade is that it's a cool tone. It doesn't look like an orange streak going across my cheekbone. So I like it. It looks really nice. What I'm most interested in seeing is how the nose contour is going to look with this powder. I'm going to go in with that darker shade, the darkest shade in the palette. And I'm gonna start contouring the nose. I think the nose contour looks really good too. The good thing about this contour palette is that it's, like I said, it's cool colors. So you always wanna contour your nose with a cool color because you don't wanna see the bronzy, orangey lines going across your nose. So I think this is a really good, at least really good nose contour. I mean, I really like the way it did my contour here. So for sure, I will definitely be using this contour powder for my nose from now on. The last thing I'm going to do is my lips. I think I'm just gonna go in with my, my everyday favorite, my nude lip. When I do a nude lip, I use the same three products. I use Tiramisu um, Lip Liner from Rimmel London. Then I use Beige Babe from Maybelline, the lipstick. And then I go over that with the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Sweetheart. All right, so that's it. This is the final look. I really liked how the eyeshadows came out. I really, really like that contour color. But this is it for the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.